Well, welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. My name is Dr. Jeff Galini, and this show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Anyway, I uh, got a great uh, email that came in from uh, Jake from Santa Monica. And uh, Jake says, or asks, Hello, Dr. Jeff. Love your show and love Crealkalin. A friend of mine from the gym said someone told him a product, about a product called Concrete and it's supposed to mix clear in water. This person also said that it would be better than Crealkalin. What do you think? Well, here's a myth I'm getting ready to bust wide open. First of all, something going into solution and turning clear has nothing to do with the price of rice. So concrete <clears throat> is another creatine product. Their claim to fame is that it goes into solution uh, better than anything. Who cares? You know, they only recommend 1.5 grams and even creatine monohydrate is water soluble at 1.5 grams per 16 ounces. Don't care. No one's ever going to put 50 grams of crealcalin in water. But again, that has nothing to do with the bioavailability or the absorption. At the end of the day, there's only one stable form of creatine, and that's crealcalin, backed by a USA patent and several overseas patents. So again, remember that everything has to start with creatine monohydrate during the manufacturing process. From there, something is done. Crealcalin is creatine monohydrate. Uh, Jake, all we're doing is elevating that pH during the manufacturing process so that we can keep that conversion to creatinine once it hits solution uh, from not happening. Uh, creatine HCl, concrete, um, is about 60% creatine. So why would you want to use something that is only 60% what you're paying for? They subject it to a hydrochloric acid, which again, you know, has nothing to do with absorption. I'm not saying anything bad about concrete. I'm just busting a myth that it's not better than Crealcalin. That one I can uh, stake my uh, claim on. And again, who cares about what goes in the solution? I was at a trade show one time and I saw the concrete booth take one of my Crealcalin capsules and open it up and put it in the water and try to tell people, look, look what's floating on the surface. And then they took their powder and put it in and it went right in. Well, I went over there and said, Hey, what are you doing? Why doesn't that go into solution? The guy didn't know me. He goes, oh, look at they, you know, it just doesn't work. I said, well, that's a capsule. There's magsterate. They're fillers to go in and make a capsule. Uh, of course, that stuff isn't going to go into solution. It's not about being water soluble. Again, it's about stability. So Jake, hope that uh, answers your question. Tell uh, your friend uh, to keep buying Crealcalin because that is the best form of creatine. As a matter of fact, if you want to try it, check my email out. Send me an email and I will send you some samples absolutely free for you to try it yourself. Take care and we'll catch you next time.